here it's your favorite girl on lua shown and i welcome you to another interesting episode of girls talk on just your tv of course on girls talk we discuss topics ranging from relationships to situationships to religion to politics and basically everything happening across the globe of course i've not changed i'm still very opinionated so i'm going to tell you my own opinion like i always say it is my opinion i am sharing on the show Anyways, today I'll be discussing something that cuts across both genders. It is not, um, hey, did I say both genders? Sorry. We have more than two genders now. Something that cuts across every gender. Now, what I'll be discussing is this. In a relationship that is not marriage, I mean, you people are dating, you're not in a, re you're in a relationship, but you're not married. Is there something like cheating? I know you can say, yeah, maybe it's probably sleeping with another um, girl or maybe the boy. Uh, the girl now is sleeping with someone else. I'm not talking about sexual cheating. I'm not talking about when the person is having sex with somebody else. I'm talking about every other kind of cheating. Is there something like cheating in a relationship that is not marriage? Now, let me tell you what I think. I think if we are in a relationship, you can cheat on me. Yes, we might not be married. But yes, you can cheat on me. And I'm not talking about you having sex, like I mentioned earlier. I'm talking about you sharing your time. I'm talking about you sharing commitment. I'm not saying when we are dating. Now, if you are dating, that is a different thing. When I say dating, I don't mean dating we do nowadays. I mean the original dating. Boy meets girl, we go out. You're trying to, you know, still check out ourselves. If you if you are compatible, if I want to be with you. Okay, according to English Dictionary, let me tell you what dating means. Real dating, what it means. It means a form of romantic um, courtship typically between two individuals with the aim of accessing the other's suitability as a partner in an intimate relationship or as a spouse. So if you are still checking ourselves out, of course, you can talk to another girl. You can, you know, maybe I'm still doing a recording. You can check out somebody else, talk to somebody else. I'm not going to crucify you for that. But the moment we decide that we are defining what we have, eh? I am yours, you are mine, even though the, you know, uh, marriage vows have not been made. And you now decide that, hey, there's one girl somewhere that you're sharing your time with, though. I mean, there's this particular thing you cannot share with me. As, you know, I'm not your fiancé yet, I know. But as your girlfriend, that we're in a definite relationship, guy, guy, better be ready to be committed. Because the purpose of this is testing, testing. To know how disciplined you're going to be when we are married. So be ready to show me that level of commitment. Be ready to spend on me, hey, it's not easy to be this, you know. Thing. So be ready to do all of those things. And of course, on my part, I'm going to do that myself. But don't expect me to be doing wifely duties, I beg. I'm not asking you to be my husband yet. But don't expect me to be doing wifely duties. But at least, show me some level of commitment. Don't go and share our valuable time. Women, I love attention. Let me not say women. Myself, I love attention. Guy, be ready to shower me with, um, with attention. If you know you're not going to do that, then maybe we should, you know, just be friends. Because at the end of dating... You guys can decide um, we are not compatible enough. I don't want to marry you. Let's just be friend. You know, fine. I can go with that. Or maybe when I was doing when I was doing orukuri, you know, when you we were shy king and I was doing orukuri, you meet a girl that you actually like more than myself. I mean, we are dating, and I come and meet her and say, "Oh, guy, I'm ready for a relationship now." And you say, "I'm no longer ready. I'm going to respect my space. I'm not going to say you cheated on me. Or maybe you went. You can you can do because." We do it. A guy is toasting me. I have like five guys toasting me at, at the moment. I would not expect you to know, you know, ask another lady out. You can ask ladies out. That is when we are dating. But guy, once we are in a relationship, you cannot cheat on me. There's something like cheating. Don't come and tell me, hey, it is not recognized. It is marriage is the only institution that is recognized. Guy, before we decide to marry, something must have taken place. Either, either the marriage is, um, um, the relationship is um, sexual or not sexual. Eh? There's something like cheating. Please, let us not deceive ourselves. Because God now is supposed to be fornicating. So let's say, you know, if you notice, that I do not talk about the male, you know, sleeping with another girl or the woman sleeping with another man. I am talking about commitment, companionship, what the basis of marriage is and uh, as it were. Please, eh -eh. I am not that kind of a person. You can't cheat. Don't cheat. Self-discipline. That is what matters. Don't tell me, you cannot ask me this, you cannot ask me that. Guy, I will ask you. Eh, I will ask you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I know. I'm getting overly passionate. 
about it because really when I had the discussion, it was I was more vehement than this. So ha, you are telling me there's nothing like cheating because you are not married. Hey, hey. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. I don't want to just be talking. I don't want to keep talking and talking and talking and talking. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? In a relationship that is not marriage, we are not married, is there something like cheating? Even if you want to include sex, yes. Is there something like cheating? You can't, you can't be having sex with me and say we are in a relationship and then you go have sex with somebody else. Fear God. You too. Fear God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to come again, definitely. I am coming again with juicy hot topic with something more mind boggling. We are going to discuss something more. And of course, you know what you're supposed to do. Follow me on Instagram at Nife C I O. Yeah, Nife C I O. Follow me on Instagram and follow Gistube TV on every social media. Do well on YouTube. You know, you have to subscribe. You don't have a choice now, then click the notification bell. So, you know, keep up with what we do on Just a TV. Till I come your way again, remain blessed. <laughs>